Papua New Guinea's hidden genius, the scientist bringing hope to global medicine. As the world celebrates the winners of the 2025 Nobel Prize in Chemistry, three brilliant scientists from Australia, the United States and Japan, there's one name in Papua New Guinea that deserves just as much recognition. Professor Topol Rayleigh from the University of Papua New Guinea. While global headlines talk about metal organic frameworks, a discovery changing energy, medicine and climate science, a quiet revolution is happening right here in PNG. In a small laboratory led by a man driven by passion not privilege. For decades, Professor Rayleigh has been studying the natural chemical properties of our native plants. His research covers everything from food flavors and fragrances to medicinal compounds, all rooted in Papua New Guinea's incredible biodiversity. Among his many discoveries, one stands out, a compound called hopiophenol, extracted from a local tree known as Anisoptera thurifera. In international research circles, this compound is gaining attention for its antiviral power, showing potential against HIV, AIDS, and even COVID-19. Professor Rayleigh has gone a step further, successfully creating crystals of hopiophenol in his lab at UPNG, a critical achievement that brings the possibility of clinical trials one step closer. Yet despite this groundbreaking progress, his work faces a familiar struggle, lack of funding and support. While countries like Australia, Japan, and the US invest millions into their research infrastructure, PNG scientists like Rayleigh often rely on limited university resources and personal sacrifice. Our country holds 7% of the world's biodiversity, but much of it is at risk, from logging, mining, and agriculture. Imagine what could happen if our government and private sector decided to invest in science the same way other nations do. PNG could become a global leader in natural medicine, green energy, and innovation. Professor Rayleigh's message is simple but powerful. The people have the land, the plants, and the knowledge. What we lack is the political will to fund our future. He calls for 1. A national research and development fund to support local scientists. 2. Clinical trials to develop hopiophenol into a real medicine. 3. A PNG science strategy focused on health, energy, and climate solutions. 4. National recognition for scientists who are shaping our country's future. The recent Nobel Prize reminds us that world-changing discoveries begin with curiosity and persistence, values that Professor Rayleigh lives every day. If Hopiophenol succeeds, it won't just be a medical breakthrough. It will symbolize a new chapter in Papua New Guinea's story, a time when we stop watching others lead and start leading ourselves. Papua New Guinea's story is still being written, not in politics or power, but in the quiet work of people like Professor Raleigh. His discovery reminds us that greatness lives within our own land, our people, and our potential. Let's believe in our own. Science is not just about discovery. It's about belief, persistence, and support. Professor Raleigh's journey proves that when we invest in our own people, the world begins to notice.